Welcome back to Cloudbunk. Let's go follow the suspicious nav point given to us by a unusually robotic sounding control. Love this music. It's a nice touch that the music continues in the loading screens. I don't know if that's very common for games. I don't know, it's not something I usually think about. I'm really wondering where these seven remaining punch cards for Evelyn are, because every time we go to a zone, I usually check to see if there's any missed items, and there just doesn't seem to be any. Terminal next to a beacon. It looks like the one we... We use to talk to Cora? Yes, there's nothing else here. We are getting a message from Control again. Text only. It says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon. All right, let's go. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. You again. Did you pretend to be Control? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. And yet, you can't just answer my question. I took on the guise of another to bring you here. You stole his voice. He has no voice. He is a shell. Don't say that about him. Deep down, you know how empty he is. I felt the pain of your android passing. He was lost. Then he found me. You're mad. I have no time for this. Huxley says he wishes you well. Screw you. I'm leaving. Stop calling on me. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What answer? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. I must know what the future holds for this place and for those who follow me. You're a mad old AI with no purpose. This may be true. I still must know. You came to this city from outside. You understand here and also there. You know the city and the not city. If you say so. So answer my question and think carefully on your answer as it will have repercussions. Is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? What? I repeat, is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? Overcome with monsters? No, Cora. Novalis is the monster. I can't detect a signal anymore. Good. We're done with crazy people. Cora said... Did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. Let's get out of here. Are you the real control, or the annoying fake one? What do you mean? Nothing. What you got for me? I need to ask you to take a passenger again. So, you're the annoying real control. You know, we're not a taxi service, right? I, I know, I know. But this one will be worth it. Very rich client. Needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff. Someone famous? I think so. But even I don't know who it is. Sending an aft point. Uh, one more thing, Rania. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, get me an autograph. <laughs> Wish you luck. Oh god. Sometimes it does this weird thing where I like jitter upward suddenly. There, I just did it again. Um, hi. My name is Rania. 
I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. Achievement, we're a taxi service now. We sure are. I can't believe it is really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my Dream Bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I am sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. There is more to life than material success, says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang, Middle skin, scales or rubber, I'm your dream girl, bubblegum lover. Does the second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. Dolly's new album, Dolly in the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. No shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes, or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly, the first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. I forgot to say, please just drive to the West for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman. I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. They copied you, made an AI that looks like you. I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Nivalis. I was replaced. I was Dolly before Dolly was taken by the audience. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. I called on my mother and the number was blocked. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly. Who is the new Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They'd been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so awful. They lied. They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No, they don't notice. They've been using her likeness for a year now. So what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. I was going to face them, gate crash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Move on. It'll be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work. To have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Nivalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... 
I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. I say try to expose the bastards. Let's go to the TV station. Also, this entire sector is apparently one we haven't been to, so hello punch cards everywhere. turn around we could still take you to the vents no running away was never a real option you did the right thing bringing me here i have to face him dynamite simpson what will you say to him i doubt i'll get a chance to say anything i just want him to see me and her at the same time to confront what he did to me i need to show him that i can be killed but never erased my existence is mine are you mad at her too? The replacement? No, not at all. She is just doing what she needs to do to survive. I hope he feels guilty when he sees you. I hope he has regret. I have none. Do you want me to come in with you? Maybe we can try to sneak past reception. I could say I had a delivery. Try to bluff my way past the guards. No, I have to do this alone. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe they will take you back. Maybe you will release the fifth album. No, Camus. That music isn't me anymore. It was never really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. This won't stop me singing. Whether it's for one person or for one billion, it doesn't matter. Deep down, Ronian knows that too. They can take almost everything away from you, but if you don't surrender it to them, they can't take away your music. Good luck, Dolly. Hey, kid. You still surviving out there? Just about, Control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with Automata? Not for a second. Or worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. Two more hava crashes in the last hour, and they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? You doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. All right, kid. All right, uh, I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever do. Nothing like a night with Cloudpunk to shift your perspective on what a bad night can be, right? Well, there's a family member of Gil's that wants to ask you some questions. They even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, you gotta go. Ah, <sighs> remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, and then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control.
Mom lets me hang out here. I like to watch the traffic go by. I'm Mala. She lets you out here by yourself? Yeah, I like to see the different hovas. And Mom says the air is nice and clean by the roads because the vapor from the engines helps. Back home, it's smelly because of the factories. You live near the factories? I guess this is the best place for you to play then. Mom says it's safe as long as I don't talk to the police people. But strangers are okay. I guess that makes sense. So you like the Havas? Yeah, I want to race one day. The desert races in the wastelands? No, I like the street races. I've met a racer tonight. Really? Who was he? He calls himself Never Slow Joe. Wow, Never Slow Joe? He is good. I have something for you then. You want this card? Oh, cool. I didn't have this one yet. Thanks. He is not like the best, but pretty good. Who's the best then? Scuttle Runner, maybe the Bandit Queen. Oh, I know, Jane Turbine. Are those their real names? No, silly. You need a special name when you become a racer. Well, it was nice to meet you. I've got to run. See you, Mala. Jane Turbine's a really cool name. Four more punch cards. Mm-hmm. Thanks for that. Y'all come back. No more punch cards here, but there's some more items. I'm not gonna worry about getting every single non-punch card item too much. I'll get most, but if there's any that are like really at the outskirts, I think I'll just avoid them. Here, northeast. Majora. <laughs> Sounds like something else just broke malfunctioned. At least a building didn't fall apart. where that teleporter goes. Maybe just to the other side? Mm, no, looks like there's a higher level.
two more punch cards. Ooh. There's a punch card over there. How do I get there? Probably from this teleporter. Yes. Just one more. Where to now? Oh, while we're here, let's go get repaired. Head over here. this be it? This is it. Alright, let's go right back to Evelyn right now. I want to see how that storyline finishes. Thank you, Rania. Thank you for helping me. Sure. Did you recover any more of your memories? What do you think about Navalis, Rania? Is it a good place to live? You're asking the wrong person, Evelyn. There is no one else to ask. 
I don't know, Evelyn. Maybe you should just tell me what happened. It might help. I made a mistake. Dr. Zizic said we should make a new start, and we ran from home and came to Novalis. Now she is gone. I am completely alone. It is my fault she died. You didn't cause the accident that killed her, Evelyn. That's not on you. She was only flying her Hova that day because of me. She was going to put my memories in storage, keep them secure for me in case I was ever ready to face them again. She wanted to make sure that Corpsec would never find them. Why would Corpsec want your memories? They want all android memories. All humans if they use memory augments too. Anytime your memory is erased, backed up, or modified, they demand a copy. That's terrible. But still, maybe it's easier just to let them? After all, you did nothing wrong. Just because I did nothing wrong does not mean I am prepared to give them my memories. They are not for anyone else. I don't want Corpsec to know anything about... about the person I cared for. No, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I think your friend Dr. Zizic did this for you so you could have a fresh start. That's what she would have wanted. She is gone. What can I do without her? Maybe she would have wanted you to be a doctor to help people. Is it really that easy? To forgive myself? To start over? I don't know. I'm trying to. I will help whoever I can here in Novalis. I will make circumstance into purpose. Good luck. Thank you, neighbor. You too. Hey, neighbor. Hello, Rania. I see you have a smaller human now. The kid? Not mine. I wouldn't call her a small human, exactly. I know. This is me attempting a joke. I hope you're a better doctor than comedian. I am. Rania, I can look in on the girl from time to time. I won't be in the way, just to make sure she is safe. Unless... Unless what? You don't trust me, because I am incomplete. I trust you. I think anyone who cares so much about love, whether they can feel it or not, is a pretty good person. If you kept an eye on Pashta, it would mean a lot to me. I remembered a little more. Do you want to know my final memories? Sure, but you don't need to tell me. I want to tell someone. Dr. Zizic loved history. That's why she chose the punch cards. She was always interested in how time changed everything. Cities, culture, people, history, and koi fish. Time and rebirth. Those were her passions. She had so many paintings of koi fish on the walls. Dr. Zizic, she was the one you couldn't love, right? It was her all along? No, it's not that simple. I... I am Dr. Zizic. But... When you lose memories, you lost part of yourself. You can't just delete your pain and continue living as the same person. When I made the choice to destroy part of myself, I was no longer Dr. Zizic. I was Evelyn. Sometimes you change so much, your old name doesn't fit you anymore. But the crash, that was you? Yes. I survived, but I was badly damaged. I tended to my own wounds. My injuries were severe. Working on them, healing myself, it made me realize how much I wanted to live. And that's when you realized you wanted the memories back? I believe so. The loss of my memories and the crash made everything fuzzy. But when my mind cleared, I knew I had to be whole again. This isn't the first time I've gone through this process. I've recovered my memories before, and each time, it has been too much. I've deleted them again. Will you delete them this time? I don't think so. I will try to keep them. Then you're free. Not yet. But every day I get through is another day I got through. You'll make it, Evelyn. Thank you, Rania. I'll keep looking out for Pashta. When she sees me at the window, I'll wave. I'll tell her to wave back. Glad we have somebody who's actually around more to look after Pashta, because God knows we never go home. Let's see if there's anything else we can get for the apartment. I think we've unlocked a thing or two. Right, dolly poster. Eh, it's all right.
I have to admit, I feel kind of relieved that I don't feel any compulsion to find punch cards now. Ah. Uh, yeah, from here on out, I'm going to go a lot easier on picking up collectibles. I'll only pick them up if they're fairly close to me. Let's go listen to some customer feedback. Perfect. Elegant. Like, for example, I'll pick up this one because it's right next to us. who saw my brother alive. <laughs> I guess so. Who are you? I'm his brother, Bill. <laughs> Mom didn't have much imagination when it comes to names. Your mom's still around? I'm sure she wouldn't want you here. She already lost a son. No, Mom supported Gil in his choice. She, uh, she understood. So do I. I've heard stories about the sky since I was smaller than a sump rat. <laughs> Beyond the clouds! <laughs> I can't leave Gil there alone. But he's not in the clouds. He's dead. Where's your imagination? Look, I can't really take another desperate dreamer throwing their life away. Can you just tell me what you want? I guess... I just want to know... Was he at peace before he went? Was he afraid? No, he had no idea what he was heading into. Then I won't be afraid either. You want to go through with it as well? It's what he would have wanted. After Gil went, was your mom... Did she seem upset? No, not at all. She, she was proud. She'd never been proud of either of us before. I dropped out of math academy and... Gil couldn't pass his corpse entrance exams. We were a couple of failures till Gil went into the clouds. <laughs> Me and mom even got some money from the insurance. <laughs> we bought a new Hova. Oh, come on. What? Put two and two together, Bill. I... I don't understand. Your mom filled your head with dreams of going into the sky. Then, put an insurance policy on both of you. If you're naive enough to go through with this, maybe she deserves the money more than you do. Hey, I'm not naive! <laughs> then prove it. Your brother is dead. Your mom doesn't care about you. Maybe no one does right now. But that doesn't mean no one ever will. Get out of here. Make something of your life and stop dreaming about the sky. I've seen it. It only makes you feel worse because no matter how vast and beautiful the sunrise looks, you're still stuck down here with everyone else. Anyone who tells you that you can escape this place by running away is just selling you another lie. You really believe that? Look around you. You think that if there was an easy escape from this place, anyone would choose to stay here? I... I guess you might have a point. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll go home. <sighs> or maybe a bar. Just anything but the same place Gil went, please. Pashta is trying to send you a message. Well, put her through. 
I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling. 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 Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. Tone would you like? Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm, but according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Damn it, put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I think so. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most. Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? We might be wasting time. Nah, let's get some water. Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you, it's not my fault. We picked up fresh water, grade one. It might be better if you drink that for a while till you get used to things down here. What flavor? Water flavor. Look, things are probably different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's... it's going to be hard on you for a while, till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay, you were, but only in some ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing to worry about. Now, can you read these screens on the front door? I'm going to bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. Well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep, too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep. You're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun. After I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. Ooh, food dispenser. Yes, okay. 14 FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Hmm? Why? An undernet pulse? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go! Understood.
55 seconds. Ooh, that is not much time. God, the gate was so close. Wait, that wasn't Avalon Heights? Oh, I didn't even pay attention to the name. Shit, we got another one to go through. <laughs> your bonus and we relocated one of our drivers to run the slums from now on no oh, no we can't take the hit of another corpse fine that's a demotion right well, for him for you it's an opportunity don't blow it we have a call it is from William who the cleaning Android Remember? Right. Should I put him through? No. What if it is important? It's only ever bad news, Camus. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? Well, there was... no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but... But you are becoming... hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine. Keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. Convenient. Senior promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. 
Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague, an outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too, and sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh-huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. I think it might be a good thing to pull the plug on William, because William seems to have assassinated all of their predecessors and higher-ups to get promoted into the position. <laughs> and also they said that this infection is making people, like, want to unplug William. Which is really suspicious. That doesn't sound like... Uh, that sounds targeted. Like, they're... There's an uprising against William because... William is a tyrant of the building? I'm gonna pull the plug. What is happening? I'm shutting down! You hit the wrong switch! I don't think so. The infection will spread. You are responsible. I'll live with it. Goodbye, William. This is not fair. This is... This is... This is... Unfortunate. 